Melinda has a question. Hi, I have a question about a document library. A few months ago, I set up a document library at work for policy and governance documents. The default public view is gallery that sorts by the document type. So directives, guidebooks, instructions, etc. Although it looks pretty good, I want to make it more usable by being able to quickly list the documents by their policy number. So directive 100, 101, 102. Any suggestions about how to set up the site that will still display the icons, but include a feature that is more user-friendly and allow visitors to intuitively find the document they are seeking. Sharon, you should give your answer first that I see you put in, in the notes, because yours is the yours is the simple way, and then I'll get mine. <laughs> not, not the complex <laughs> way that Max is going to come up with. So yeah, so I mean, so when we talk about document libraries, one of the things a lot of people don't realize is that much like lists, you can add columns of metadata that can then be grouped, filtered, and sorted into views. So in, in a perfect world, you know, since we already know some information around this, um, you know, we, we know what the document type is, we know what the policy number is, you know, we might know a little bit more information. So it, you would then set a column up for each of those pieces of metadata. So set one up for policy, one up for type, whatever other kind of information you have. Um, and then you could basically filter the view um, so that it is grouped by or sorted by that information. And then the fun part is you can then take that information because um, a lot of times people get really confused when they go to a library to find something. So you can take that specific view, you can put it on a dedicated page so that people can't mess with it. They can just see what that information is, see it the way they want to. Um, in addition, you can also use multiple web parts now, even on modern pages, to do filtered lookup. So essentially, you can have two. You can have one with the library below, one with a filter option above, where they can basically see, I want to see this policy. It'll narrow the filtered um, view down to that particular policy and be able to see it. Um, it's a fairly simple and easy solution to allow them to kind of see what they want to see the way they want to see it. That is an awesome answer, and I'm going to build on it. What if you want to go further? What if you say, you know what? I want this to look just a little bit different. I want the layout to look different. I want, you want it to go to 11, Max. I want to. I want it to go to 11. I want a bunch of tiles. I want pretty icons. Well, as Sharon pointed out, a library is just a list. And we can customize views. And when you go to your views, there's a little button that says format current view. And you, from there, with a little bit of JSON, which is just a little bit of JSON, a, a scripting language, if, if you will, uh, you can make your document library look like whatever you want to. Our friends over in the uh, uh, SharePoint PNP world, uh, David Warner, being a, a major contributor over there, have come up with, I'm scrolling through the GitHub right now, and uh, probably close to 100 different samples of codes for how to customize the view of your list or library. And if you look at those and, and you've got a technical mind, you can kind of merge different components together and you can make something look pretty interesting. This has been Pimp Your View by Max Fritz. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, okay. check out yeah. That would be the best thing ever. Pimp Your View. We have to do a feature called Pimp Your View. <laughs> that would be so awesome. Of course, that button would be like glittering and flashing. Oh, my God, oh yeah. That sounds Found like it. such a great it's show. Bedazzled. It's like the bedazzled feature. <laughs> So I have taken every Dave Warner uh, session known to man. I have pimped some of my views, and I really do think that'd be amazing. That's a great session title, Pimp My View, and then do nothing but talk about Dibs. it. Yeah. Dibs. Do it. Do it. Pimp My View, and it's a class on JSON. Max, Max, and, I, Max and I are going to do a Pimp My View session. Max, you're now roped into this. We're totally doing it. I'm so in.